Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's fun project video, we're going to be back over on the longer Ray 5 20 watt diode laser engraver, and we're going to be making a nice little neat miniature three dimensional snowflake themed Christmas tree. Man, that's a mouthful. I've already got the file loaded up into Lightburn, and that's the white screen you see behind me loaded up over on the laptop. And the file in question comes from the website Etsy. It costs around three or four dollars as US currency, and laser files are not really that expensive. You know, you can pick up a bunch of them. You can usually pick up bundles on sale to where they have like four or five hundred individual designs. And that's actually how I came across this design. And I've actually made it already a couple times behind the scenes behind the camera so to speak you know to make sure I had everything dialed in because the file when I loaded it up was intended to be made out of that very thin three millimeter craft plywood I believe it's called basswood I wanted to bulk it up and make it bigger out of one quarter inch material so I had to split the file up into three different sections that way everything would fit on the laser bed the quarter inch material I have here has already been cut down to the size of my honeycomb spoil board to where we can put the magnets on it to lock it in place while the laser is doing its thing. I've got three pieces here. We will of course pre-sand everything before loading it into the laser because sand and laser projects is somewhat tedious after the pieces come off of the laser itself because they can be fragile and finicky to work with so I always like to pre-sand before loading into the laser whenever possible and I just love Christmas trees in general we've had live Christmas trees in the past we've had singing Christmas trees you know where the lights played a Christmas jingle and I love every year sitting up the family Christmas tree in the front living room of the family home and going through all of the heirloom Christmas ornaments because it just brings so much nostalgia and memories very fond memories of my family and loved ones just from the ornaments being passed on from generation to generation year after year and I of course also put a Christmas tree in the model train room with a little train going around the bottom of it then I have a little tree over here to my side above the scroll saw on the guitar amplifier and even the fish in the tropical fish tank get in the Christmas season because I put a little Christmas tree that is suited for their needs in the fish tank itself so I'm really happy to bring this project to life and again I've made it behind the scenes so I know what it's going to look like and I'm happy and eager to make this video to bring it to life properly over here on the platform what we've got to do now is sand up everything to get it ready to be loaded into the laser bed I will turn the air filtration unit on and when we turn the laser on we'll be wearing our safety goggles throughout the whole process so let's get started And before heading over to the laser, we will pre-sand everything with 180 grit Clingspore Woodworking Shop sandpaper in the Vibrating Palm Sander, making sure everything is nice and smooth. And then we will take a piece of that quarter inch material and load it into the laser bed. And I'll use magnets to hold everything in place. And I will frame the project out to make sure I am taking full advantage of the material I am using. And I'll put the GoPro in the enclosure and zip it up and we are ready to hit start. And you guys know that with the enclosure I have, it offers this view while the laser is running through this orange translucent material that protects your eyes to where you can peer in and see the laser running. However, it's very hard to film at this angle. That is why I like using this angle with the GoPro in the enclosure. And I feel that it's very important to use a laser enclosure with a laser engraver because of the hazardous fumes they put off as well as all of the smoke. You can see that the enclosure is doing a great job of capturing all of those fumes and piping them out of the vent behind the workshop. But you can now see the laser doing its job. For reference, I'm using a speed of 300, power of 92%, one single pass with air assist on and that is the light burn settings. And one thing I will do once everything is cut, I will leave the laser sitting for around five minutes to make sure all of those fumes are extracted out of the shop and the enclosure before removing all of the pieces. And I turn the GoPro off and I'm collecting all these pieces here and I will double check to make sure they all came out properly. But before I do that, I'll add another piece of quarter inch material in and frame it out and turn the GoPro back on and zip it up and we'll be ready to go again and this will be a simple rinse and repeat process of everything we have done previously but it will continue making everything 
and I am using a longer Ray 5 20 watt diode laser engraver. I love this machine. You guys know I have a great relationship with the longer company. They offer great customer support on all of their social media feeds. If I ever have a question, they are always quick to get back with answers to me regarding the laser or even their 3D printers. But for my laser, it took around one hour to cut everything completely out of the quarter inch material. I was in the shop the whole time the laser was running. Of course, you never walk away from a machine like this and leave it unattended. But again, after it's done, I will leave it for around five minutes to make sure those fumes are extracted and then come back and collect all of the pieces. And there was a lot more pieces together this go around but then I will get ready to add the final piece of quarter inch material into the laser bed and I frame it out a few times once again making sure I'm taking full advantage of the material I am using and then we will begin cutting out the final two and biggest pieces of the miniature snowflake Christmas tree and I will not do another internal view at this point with the GoPro Again, it's just a rinse and repeat process. It took me three different times at the laser to cut out everything. But after around an hour's time, all of the pieces and parts were cut out and I have them laid out on the table saw. And I can now prep to begin the assembly process. And assembly is very straightforward. You can basically tell how it goes together by the two bases here and the stem slots together and I'll use dabs of CA glue to lock everything in place and I'll make sure it is fully cured before finishing the assembly process here and everything just slides together. I did have to make some extra spacer pieces because remember we enlarged this file for quarter inch material as opposed to the original three millimeter that it was intended to be used as. But after it is assembled and the CA glue dries and cures completely, the project will be complete. And here we have the completed laser cut miniature three-dimensional snowflake themed Christmas tree laser cut completely over on the longer Ray 5 20 watt diode laser engraver and it finished up beautifully with some beautiful and crisp details in it and as for me I'm not going to add any additional splash of color like paint or stain or anything like that if I add anything to it it'll ultimately be some rust-oleum clear gloss to really make the grain and the quarter inch material we use pop I always love how a laser project finishes up with that charred edge all the way around it that's just how I like it but of course by by all means with each and every project you do out in your garage or workshop you can add paint you can add stains if your laser is powerful enough you could even go in and make this out of exotic or hardwoods to where you could really bring an added beauty and elegance to a simple project like this it took my laser around one hour to laser cut everything from start to finish and that was because of the size of my laser bed that means the work surface I have to work with on any given project I add in the laser because of that size and because because of me enlarging the file to make it bigger at a quarter inch material I had to go in three separate passes if you have a much bigger laser bed or a more powerful laser or maybe even a lower powered laser it might take you longer or maybe even less time to make this project especially if you go in and enlarge it as I did in the file that I got from the Etsy website again it only cost a few dollars as US currency and I actually got this file in a file bundle so there were several other Christmas themed designs that I could choose from but this one really struck out and caught my eye and this is the third time I have actually made this design out in the workshop the first time I made it was at the end of last year when I first got the 20 watt laser the longer ray 5 and I didn't enlarge the file properly and I had to sand away a lot of material to get everything to fit and interlock as it does here and then the second one I enlarged the file a little bit more in the lightburn software which lightburn is what I use for all the laser stuff over here on the channel and then I made it again and documented that one over on my social media feeds and when I had it dialed in I knew I had to come back out to the workshop 
top and make the third one and here is the result of today's project and as you've seen in the time lapse portion everything went together very smoothly and I only have CA glue on the base and up here at the star to lock everything in place you can see nothing is falling apart I can move it around and shake it of course you could glue each individual layer together if you wanted to do that for a more rock solid fit and structure for the tree to add some more structure and stability to it and please keep in mind the original file was meant to be made out of that thin three millimeter craft plywood you pick up for laser engravers I just used once again artist visual interpretation in my head and enlarged it so hopefully it would come across better on film and to just make one bigger out of one quarter inch material that I pick up at the local builder center and because I enlarged it I ended up having to make more of the additional round spacers here with the cross they go through the interlock pieces along the trunk of the tree to get those spaces there if I had not enlarged the file I would have made just the amount that was in the file I found this out when I made the second tree I had to go back and laser cut some more of these so I went ahead and loaded more of those when we done today's video and I have a few left over but just please keep that in mind and I hope that makes sense me having to make more for the spacers in here to make up the whole entire Christmas tree but I'm really happy with how it came out and because I enlarged it and it is the size that it is you could of course print out the pattern to that size and cut it out for scroll saw woodworking you guys know I'm primarily known for scroll saw woodworking if this is your first time joining me that is what I'm primarily doing out here in the workshop but I have introduced the laser projects like this and I'm happy to bring content like this to the platform but you could of course print the project out and attach it to quarter inch material and cut it out the snowflakes would be very easy to cut out they have very simple interior cuts the tedious part would be cutting out all of the round circles here with the crosses and being as loyal as you could be to your cut line over at the scroll saw if you went that route but you could of course take advantage of stack cutting and stack cut these three or four layers deep if you have a powerful enough scroll saw to cut through that much material but always options and always versatilities laser engravers are becoming more and more affordable for the weekend woodworker out in their garage or workshops and I'm just happy to bring projects like this to the platform I've got several more planned in my head it's just getting around to film them all in between the other stuff scroll saw woodworking and the other videos I film and produce but I'm really happy to bring this project to the channel and now I have another Christmas tree to add to the ever growing Christmas tree collection I have one out here in the workshop to celebrate the Christmas season out here when I'm out in the workshop there is two in the house one in the family room one in the train room and then we have one in the tropical fish tank so this adds to that ever-growing collection and again you could really jazz this up you could paint it nice Christmassy colors you could leave it as is you could take pictures of how to put it together and make these and send these as gifts as a flat pack so that's another idea that just popped into my head but really really cool I had fun documenting the process along the way and I hope you guys like watching me make this project if you're new to the channel hopefully you'll click that subscribe button and also follow me across all my social media feeds under the artisan pirate name as always links to contact me as well as all my social media feeds will always be linked down in the description box below these videos that's about all for this one and remember guys if I can make it or do it so can you I'm the artisan pirate take care and I'll see you guys real soon